Hi there. My name is Holistic Helen. I am a Dutch holistic healer living in Switzerland. I present guided healing videos for self-development, soul development and uh, supporting your spiritual development. Today we're going to do a, a shorter video than last time. I mean, last time it was two hours. We're not going to do it this long today. And I want you to uh, sit up straight. And bring your focus within your body. Down, 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 down. And bring it into your one point. It's the center of your body. And allow your center to be uh, protected by a magical force field. It's like a cloak, a small one, is around your center point and it expands, expands in, until it covers your whole aura. Your aura is often an arm length around you, above you and below you. And that is your personal space. So your personal space is now protected and confidential. The angels made sure there is a magical shield on the outside of the circle. Today is a in-between step between the, the first step of preparation for sales and the second sales uh, video. Uh, during the first video we had to clear out a lot of uh, rubbish, a lot of black magic, a lot of misuse of magic in the past. And also in my case it took longer than usual because usually I publish videos every two weeks. Um, I had to skip uh, one session and today is the day we are going to do a preliminary step for the video which will be a lot of fun. And in that video, the second part, it is a video where you will um, receive a few uh, spiritual tools. They have been tested for millennia in uh, mystery schools and I, am, I have been given permission to share this with the world. And it is for each of you, it's up to you to test how they work for you. Like I said, they have been tested already for millennia, so they work pretty well. They've been tested thoroughly. And now it's time that more people who have been incarnated in all these mystery schools, but who are now doing comp something completely different, like uh, they work in healthcare or they work uh, as a teacher, or they do whatever, you, know, you name it. I don't know what your uh, job description is, it doesn't matter to me. What matters is that I know that your guardian angel guided you to this uh, video. And we are going to start with some basic tools. You might remember instantly or you might remember you've learned it uh, at another place. That's can be true because, of course, I'm not the only one presenting these tools worldwide. There is someone in the Netherlands, uh, there are a few people doing that. There are some people in uh, uh, the west coast of uh, the United States and some more places around the world. So, we all come from the same uh, family, so to say. We are no competition. We all hold space for each other. And the first thing we are going to do is now you have this globe around you with a magical shield on the outside which protects you from uh, undesired uh, uh, viewers. Like um, it can prevent that uh, lower vibrating entities can enter your space anymore because they have no karmic connection with you, so they cannot enter anymore. If there is a karmic connection, it's still possible. You have to complete that. That's okay. But this cloak function as a buffer, like a, a firewall. It protects um, a lot of unnecessary rubbish you don't need to deal with uh, to come in. 
either you have been cursed in the past life or in this life or which allows it to enter and you can just state to your holy garden angel to clear and dissolve now all these uh, undesired uh, curses and you just have them uh, dissolve if they are no longer aligned with your highest path of destiny they can be dissolved the angels are at the moment connected with the angels of the high laws and the angels of high magic and they have the, the power and the seniority to dissolve this for all of us so that's great and i notice now that the angels of high magic and angels of the high laws are creating a viewer space and one by one all of the viewers are popping in and let's start with uh, connecting with the pyramid of the rose and if you have read my book you know that you have a kind of library card and uh, like you have one of uh, <laughs> you have one of these you have a permission card to uh, enter a spiritual realm and there's a lot of spiritual information in there and we are going to call for the, the hello rose. The hello rose is simply like uh, namaste. You are acknowledging the existence of the other person. And with that hello rose, you can send it to, for example, to the spirit of the other person. Like for example, I can send um, hello roses to all of the viewers. And for those who feel I do a little bit of playing, I send hello roses from out of my heart center. Receiving them back. And I'm sending hello roses for my seven chakra. Receiving them back. And it also uh, might cause you to feel more embodied. Because I am acknowledging your spirit. And your spirit just enters your physical body more. And let's send hello roses from out of the first chakra to the other persons. In my case, I send hello roses to the viewers. And I notice uh, viewers are copying me. And send hello roses back. Nice. So this is not only a guided healing session, it's also a form of teaching, mentoring. And for that I really like YouTube, YouTube you know, because I can reach a whole bunch of you, which I could not do if you all had to come to Switzerland. So that's uh, really beneficial, I like that. And I'm now getting the tip of my um, spiritual support team that you all can call in your spiritual support team. So if you know who they are, it's great, you can call them in. If you don't know who your spiritual support team is, that's not a problem. Um, it will be your head guide and your holy guardian angel. They will be called in. And invite them into the concentric circle space. What is concentric circle space? There is this space around this bulb which have been created. There's not a circle. And within that space, there's a, a kind of expanded time space. There's a lot of space there. They can step into there. They don't step into your aura. If they did, uh, because you're used to that, I invite you to not have them inside your aura, but have them uh, take space in the concentric circle space or your concentric circle space. Why is that? It's more safe for you and more safe for the guide or angel. That is because of the difference of frequency between our existence and the existence of the other being can be disrupted if you don't want that, so you create a special space for them to be. And how does this feel? Do you notice you get yourself more space to be? Okay, this is just basic uh, mystery school uh, teachings. And 
and I'm pretty sure a lot of you uh, are familiar with these tools, conscious or subconscious. And how do you know uh, if you are familiar with the tool subconscious? Is that you've never heard of these tools before, but it goes really easily. Then uh, you might be pretty sure that in a previous lifetime you've worked with these. And it's probably your soul who decided it's time to work with these tools again. Because they are gently, they are pleasant, and they are not disruptive. So, now your spirit support team has settled. Now let's send hello roses to the holy guardian angel of uh, all of us. Just by intention you can do that. It's a little bit of playtime, you know. Playtime is necessary also in life. Can you feel the interaction between all of our holy guardian angels? Because even if I do not know today who is watching this video, it might be someone from the other side of the world. It might be this weekend. It might be three years, ten years from now. I don't know how long this video is up, so it's always a surprise. But I see quite a bunch of people uh, sending hello roses to uh, each other's uh, holy guardian angel. And they are like a... Um, the Holy Guardian Angels are now forming a, a form of collective consciousness, a collective awareness of all of us through space, place and time. There are a few Guardian Angels of the Fuse who are quite developed and quite strong. Um, they have leadership qualities. And it's like the Holy Guardian Angels of uh, a few viewers, uh, together with my Holy Guardian Angel, upgrading the knowledge of other Holy Guardian Angels. And what I also see is that a few viewers are receiving a new Holy Guardian Angels, which is more attuned to the place you are living right now, to the place and space you are in your life right now. They might be better attuned to the country you live in. You might live your whole life at the same place, but you might be like me and traveled around, moving from place to place. And now you receive a holy guardian angel who is really attuned to the time ahead of you. It is attuned to the place you are right now. Perhaps it, it will help you to assist to move to the next uh, uh, home to live in. It will assist you to receive the next job you need at the moment. So there's a lot of uplifting energy at the moment, but there's also a lot of energy which is heavy because it's no longer necessary, which is now dumping out of us. And the exchange of Holy Guardian Angel is really important uh, sometimes. Sometimes Holy Guardian Angel stays for like 13, 20 lifetimes. And sometimes you have a lifetime where you exchange Holy Guardian Angels five times. And that is a lifetime of growth and evolution. And if they cannot catch up anymore or they are not suited for the next phase of life, they will be exchanged. And there's higher consciousness uh, determining uh, when and how the exchange will occur. And what I see now in uh, our space is that the Holy Guardian Angels are now settling down. They are introducing themselves to the spiritual support team. And doing that, I also noticed that within the spiritual support team, there is some exchange occurring. I see some astral bumps uh, you picked up uh, along the way, during dreaming, or perhaps in the past uh, you've been drinking alcohol. 
And she picked up some astral bombs at the bar, at the cafe. They hitchhiked home with you and they had no place to go, so they just stayed and interfered in your life. They are now leaving your space. The karma is being completed. And I see a lot of timelines uh, uh, appear. Um, Multi-planes, meaning they appear in spiritual plane, mental plane, astral plane, etheric plane. And the influence of these astral bombs, these um, negative influences, are being cleared out. So it's like a, a new past is uh, appearing. They have no longer authority over you. The agreements are being dissolved. And they are being guided back to wherever they, their home is. And with some you might have a good connection, still it's time to say goodbye. And remember we are in a place of uh, growth and evolution. <laughs> and for that it's good to have uh, proper guidance. Tune to your um, soul goals the life goals you have, life purposes. And become aware of your spirit embodying your physical body. And I noticed that some viewers are starting to send uh, hello roses again. <laughs> so I'm gonna request now all of our holy guardian angels to send hello roses to, to us, to help us ground, to embody. And you as a viewer, you may start to send hello roses to the center of the planet. The spirit of the center of the planet uh, is the one who is able to give us full permission to be here. And if you send a logos to her, to that collective consciousness, it's the highest self of the spirit of the center of the planet. She will reach out to you and provide you from out of her with a whole new grounding. I always like it to communicate with her. You know, I think it's uh, it's already a year ago. She showed me how she perceived the world and uh, how she also can perceive uh, one person. The lovely thing is when she looks at one person, she sees the journey of the soul. She is able to see through space and time where you have been incarnated, when you have been incarnated, and what lessons you have learned and what lessons are still open. And she's able then to attune you um, to bring more harmony into yourself. Like the, um, the sense, the feeling that you are welcome on this earth, within the physical body, with whatever your life call is, with whatever your life mission and purpose is, that is pretty amazing if she does that. And I sense her feeling it. She is sending like a warm welcome to all of us. Connecting with our first chakra, hip joints, our halayas, all major chakras. And she's providing with each of us with a total new grounding. She says he likes to work with uh, group collectives, like uh, watching this video. Even if you watch this video alone, you're not alone because you are part of a group watching this video. Even if you don't watch it at the same time, you're still part of the event of watching this video and what is occurring here. And what she also likes is the assistance of the Holy Guardian Angels and the Head Guides. 
the higher self of all of us, giving her um, a form of permission to provide healing on soul level. She assists us to become more aligned with this current lifetime because she shows me that uh, some of the viewers, uh, you are completely aligned with your past lifetimes. Like you are in a form stuck in those lifetimes. And she is helping and assisting together with the angels of high magic and the angels of the higher laws uh, to get you unstuck, unfrozen in time. They are all assisting us on soul level to grow up to the total present time. And she's really playful. She's bringing a um, soul retrieval in a really playful uh, way. And so effortless. That's nice. <laughs> there are cows uh, standing outside in front of the, uh, the garden of me. And what I also see is what she's showing me, and like I said, it's supported with uh, the Angel of High Magic, Angel of the High Laws, is that there, if there was any uh, competition between mystery schools in the past, and I mean the mystery schools in the old Greek time, moving forward in time till today, if there has been any competition, which there has been, uh, they are soothing it. They are completing karma, providing karma completion. Uh, they are also dissolving any forms of black magic upon mystery schools, like uh, witchcraft, sorcery, wizardry, black church magic. They are clearing that out, they are dissolving it, and they, they say it's time to let go. And she is bringing us to a place, and it will take a few years to develop and to uh, materialize, to bring us as mankind with spiritual awareness, magical awareness, with our nose all facing the same direction, and that is living on a healthy earth. We are responsible to um, heal the earth, heal mankind, and live in a healthy way. And she's assisting us in that, so that's pretty nice, that's neat. That she also says at the moment that even if in certain parts of the world there are natural disasters, like uh, fires or flooding or whatever. It's not meant as doing harm to mankind. It's not meant in an evil way. It is meant in a way that she's purging, she needs um, change. And mankind changes due to the dark night of the soul. We as human, we have to face difficulties in able to be willing to say, okay, this is what I don't want. I don't want this, I have to change. Or, like uh, last week over Switzerland, uh, there has been a quite a storm and only in the place where I live, uh, 200 uh, houses were completely destroyed. They lost their homes. And as I heard also in, for example, in, uh, in the United States, uh, uh, wood fires, uh, forest fires, destroys homes. What does it mean if you lose your home? You've lost it and you have to build again. You have to make new choices. What do I want? What makes me happy? Um, 
what am I able to create? There is tremendous <laughs> amounts of life lessons uh, tied to these uh, events. And she is, uh, that's nice. She's receiving from the solar angels and lunar angels um, some assistance to clear the shock in the human collective consciousness and also in the collective consciousness uh, of nature. And I also see the solar angels uh, entering the fewest uh, space and they are like offering us during dream state healing and they work through the nights like seven nights to come and during when you're dreaming they provide more healing how do you do that you as spirit you go to a healing temple a healing temple created specifically for this type of healing in the higher astral plane and you will receive healing over there and for each of us it looks different for a few it all looks the same, like they have a, uh, the same field of reality, but many of us have a different field of reality. So depending on your belief systems, depending on your uh, whatever you choose, what is able to happen or not, on a subconscious and on a conscious level, you will receive uh, forms of healing, like I see a few viewers go to a crystal healing temple. Uh, other they pr present it like it's an old Greek ancient healing temple where they receive healing. I see others go to a kind of ashram where they receive within meditation healing. It's fun to watch. And I see others uh, they are more going into a dream state of an ayahuasca session. They go into the um, collective consciousness of the forests of uh, Southern America, where a lot of emerald green healing spirits are assisting us. This is fun, this is nice. This is also what allows us to see the, um, the holistic support they are offering. Um, they are not only doing dream state healing, they also will send uh, information to your life in the coming uh, weeks to come in form of uh, messages uh, by the internet. You will re read the, the perfect book, so to say, or you will meet someone completely unexpected, you have the most beautiful uh, conversation showing you another truth, allowing you your path to change and change till you are really on your own path. Sometimes it will be disruptive, sometimes it goes smoothly. And while this is working out, we're going to the last part of this healing session, and it is a shift to a high path of destiny. And allow yourself to become aware of yourself, your physical body, become aware of your astral body, your mental body, spiritual body. And as a focal point, jump into your one point or into your God of the heart space. That's your heart space. Your heart space is not only your physical heart, it's not only your heart chakra. It's also within your astral, mental and spiritual body, the heart space. And within this uh, heart space, you may connect with your spirit, your higher self, with your soul, and ask your soul what message do you have for me today? Or probably you would say what sounds a little bit funny to me. What do I, as a higher self, 
what do I as a spirit, what do I as a soul has to say to me today? And it takes minutes from this to listen and hear the message. You might want to write it down. So, um, I assume you wrote also down for yourself. Uh, what I wrote down, it is time to let go of your past. Uh, I did it in my native tongue, so I have to translate it now. Um, come into the present moment and create from out the present moment, regardless what you wanted to have created for yourself in your past. Then I wrote Request the Angel of High Magic to set up and perform a shift of destiny healing, which fully supports me to unfold the quality to be in the now, feel in the now, and create in this now moment. And I see a few of the viewers are adopting what I just said and others they stand their ground because they really know what is right for them now and just ask then the angels of high magic and if you cannot connect with them ask your holy guardian angel to ask the angels of high magic to set up and perform a shift of destiny healing to support what you just received as a soul message to have that uh, unfolded that quality within yourself and to be able to create that what the message was and they are going to do that to space and time and they are saying it will be 30 days like a month and let's just for the fun of it I always start uh, in the past, why do I do that? I don't know, I just like to do that. I always do that and for me that works pretty nice. Um, the angels are saying that today we are going to start seven days in the past, so one week ago, and then we go three weeks into the future. Then that covers about 30 days, well 28, so to say. And I'm going to count. And what is happening also for a shift of destiny to occur, they are connecting you with the Akashic Records. And your spiritual support team, your higher self, your holy guardian angel, 
they are calling in your magical mirror. Like I said, your magical mirror is like your computer screen in the different planes where you can observe uh, events or other fun stuff. And while for each of us the, the magical mirror is uh, appearing, it will be connected with Akashic Records. And your higher self and your holy guardian angel are observing the events to come and those which are allowed to shift or transform, they will transform. Meaning, if you have to learn certain things in life and uh, you are used to learn by arguments. A ritual of a shift to high destiny healing might cause that you do not uh, experience an argument, but you have, while you're walking down the street, you have a certain insight. And what would you choose? Would you choose walking down the streets having a certain insight? Or do you still prefer the argument to come to the same insight? I know what I choose. I choose for high self version, receiving the insight while walking down the street. So we start seven days ago. And you're being fully attuned. I see that the angels are creating like groups of the, for the viewers. Like if you have a resonating, a similar uh, desire, a similar goal or what has been channeled down from your soul. And they are like... <laughs> ah, there are quite some groups forming. And why is this occurring? Because um, I've just read, down, read out loud my goal. Like it's time to let go of the past. It's time to get into the now moment and create from the now moment, regardless what you have been creating for yourself in your past. And I ask the Age of High Magic to fully support me to unfold these qualities, to be in the now, feel in the now, and create in this now moment. You might have a different topic, and there might be 30 others. Or with some, there might be like uh, 5,000 others. You form now a collective consciousness, a group consciousness, for this specific topic. And all of these uh, different groups, we form a uh, um, overcoupled uh, collective consciousness. And by forming this group consciousness, we support each other. Like I support you, but there are also a lot of you supporting me. And enough babbling, now I'm going to count only. You can close your eyes. Six. I count back to today and then I count upwards again for the coming three weeks. Five. Four. Two. One. One is yesterday. Go to today. And for those who are highly psychic, they can see that the um, work done by the angels goes through all planes, spiritual plane, mental plane, astral plane, etheric plane, and entering the physical plane. And the beauty is, because we're going to work into the future, the work being done uh, today in a spiritual plane hits Reality, for example, in three weeks from now. 
work done today in the astral plane might hit the physical reality in a few hours or in a week. So you're working also into the future on several levels, on several planes. In several planes, certain um, events do not have to occur anymore because they're lifted up to a higher part of destiny where insight is really important. The realization, what is occurring, why is it occurring in life and the transformation of the form you are receiving this information is now occurring. So no arguments, but a insight while walking the streets. And we now move further forward in time. One, tomorrow. Two, day after tomorrow. And all these changes are allowed by higher laws, your personal process, your higher path of destiny, group process from family karma, etc. etc. This healing might affect your family also in a positive way. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty one, and for those who would like to extend this uh, shift of destiny healing. You can just hit the pause button and count further for yourself and you can trust that the healing will occur further in time. You can count up to 120. Uh, I would not advise longer. But it is from personal experience of 12 years of doing these type of uh, healings. And for those who didn't hit the pause button, allow yourself to come back slowly. Thank your holy guardian angel. Thank Mother Earth. Angels of high magic. Angels of the high laws. Let's thank all the other viewers uh, who have been in our supportive uh, group. Thank you for resonating with me. I thank you for being able to lift each other up. To 
to do this uh, growth step together. And now I'm going to call in Law of Unity in order to dissolve the group unity so we are back in our own space, no longer connected with other viewers. And I'm going to request for Dream State Healing for the next seven nights for all the processes started during this healing, during this video. And I request Ancient High Magic to provide each viewer, each participant with a full healing closure. And I suggest for all the viewers to watch the Golden Sunflop video I have within my list. And the Golden Sunflop is to fill up your whole energy field with your own energy. Because doing this type of healing, a lot of stuff and rubbish is leaving your space and it needs to be filled up with your own uh, purified energies. And also because we work through space, place and time, also in past life, all these energies has to re be returned to us uh, in a purified way. So, how are you feeling at the moment? How are you? And... Well, I enjoyed this video. It is a, a nice in-between step. I look forward uh, to the next healing step. I hope you will join me then also. And I will see you either the third Sunday in July or I see you another time. I hope you have a splendid uh, day and I wish you well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.